hello guys welcome once again in today's video we are going to learn about uh, identifiers about case sensitivity about methods and about variables in Java so let's move ahead and let's see what we can do with variables and how can we even name variables and uh, how can we even write identifiers so first rule so first start from identifiers Java identifiers to be more specific so in Java you can name identifiers by yourself identifier is uh, anything any function uh, name or any name that you create by yourself and it can create any letter from capital A to capital Z and uh, it can also create uh, it can also have any letter from small a to small z and it can also have a dollar sign in it okay and it can also have the underscore sign in it all right so i hope you have got the concept this is basically for java identifiers all right and let's say i want to name an identifier on my behalf then i can name it like this dollar uh, sorry dollar identity fire or I can name it like this identity fire or I can even name like this dollar slash underscore identity fire like this whatever whatever the way you like all right so this is the basic structure of giving Java identifiers name and now let's come to methods and let me tell you something about methods that in methods you will always name your method in a special format and that is that your first letter of your function name should be uh, smaller and if you have more than one word in your function then the next word should have a greater or a capital letter so let's see for example uh, my function is a method and you can see that the first uh, letter of my word is smaller and the next one is greater so si simple like that if you have more than one word you have for example you have three words so my function as and or my function example so you can see that the first letter of the first word should be smaller and the rest of the words uh, should have a greater or a capital first letter so I hope you have got the concept about methods. So that's how you, you will name your methods. Okay. So now come to the variable and let's talk about case sensitivity. So in Java, you can have uh, different variables by different names and uh, you can name your variables the way you want. So there is no actually compulsion in that. And let's say you want to name a variable like this like java and this is basically my variable or you can say var this is how you will introduce your variable but first you need to have a type here let's say int okay so int var is basically var is my variable and int is its type and I can simple is that I can have uh, different types of variables like uh, boolean in Java 
boolean var will have a boolean variable and same like that i can have a string okay so string basically has to have a s greater so string var and a simple is that you can have double and uh, you can have float so many types of uh, variable you can have that exist in java generally so the next thing that i wanted to tell you about uh, case sensitivity uh, is that that java is case sensitive so if you name your variable like that var and if you want to use that variable somewhere in java then you have to write it like this okay you don't you can't write your variable like this var capital is equal one okay so you cannot write var like this okay so you have to uh, keep that thing in your mind and let's see if i do this var this is the right thing okay this is the right way all right so the one thing that you need to know that whenever you need to use your variable or whenever you want to call your function so don't mess it up with the smaller or capital letters write as it is the name of the function or the name of variable okay so don't mix it up with html css or php if you are uh, working with them because java is completely different uh, unlike php html css uh, because it is case sensitive so it will not uh, you know uh, bear that uh, pain of you know writing capital and smaller letters in the variable so i hope you have got the concept so same like that if you have named your function with uh, some smaller capital letters and if you change the those capital letters while calling the function then it will display an error and it will not uh, run and the things won't come up the way you wanted so i'm afraid of that okay so you have to follow the things that i have told you thank you so much for watching and in my upcoming videos you will have a lot of things and uh, thanks for watching i hope you have learned something new bye for now